Well, nothing drew me to abstraction except the obvious fact that it, uh, I liked it. And uh, at, along with most of the teaching, uh, which leads to uh, uh, roughly representational painting, uh, there's... Uh, uh, a kind of teaching of the sort of basic dynamics of the painting, which uh, is often uh, expressed in geometrical forms. And uh, that part really interested me. So, uh, you know, in some ways, uh, I suppose I could have been a designer and not bothered about struggling with painting uh, because it felt good to me. But on the other hand, by the time I was in school and everything and, uh, and the way uh, art history had developed, uh, there was a tradition already of abstract painting. And uh, you know it was, uh, and it was interesting too because it was still a little bit, uh, not exactly controversial, but it was, uh, you know, it 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 was something, uh, you know, that could face off against something else, which creates a kind of interest in itself. The basic dynamism of the series and the basic development of it uh, was based on a relatively simple uh, use of the triangle, but it was trying to get the triangle to perform not so much as a triangle, but uh, which can be plenty passive, you know, just sitting there, but having it act or interact with something, in this case, uh, a field, a, a painterly field, a square, rectangle, whatever it is, and it's as though you had, you had the rectangle and you had the uh, triangle, one in each hand. Now you could just move the one and make one the background and just lay the triangle on top of the rectangle and arrange it in some way. That That's a perfectly normal way of doing things. Uh, but if you take the uh, triangle and stick it into the rectangle, uh, so you get, as it were, penetration and interaction, uh, it, it seems to work. It started to, something started to happen that I hadn't seen before.